I'm going to show you how to use Excel to calculate markup and percentage markup. So I've got here a column of selling prices, a column of cost prices, and I've made a column for the markup and a column for the percentage markup. You can see here that I've um, rearranged a formula to work out how to work out markup. So I've got the selling price is equal to the cost price plus the markup, and that is all multiplied by 1.1. It's multiplied by 1.1 because I need to add 10% for GST. So to get rid of that 1.1, I have to divide both sides by 1.1. I do that and it cancels on the right. And then on the left, if I subtract, if I'm dividing by 1.1, carry that down to the next line. And I need to subtract then the cost price from both sides to get markup by itself. So in the end, I end up with this formula here. Selling price divided by 1.1 minus the cost price equals the markup. So I can put that formula up here so that Excel will calculate it for me. So I type in equals, because that's how you start every formula. I need to have the selling price divided by 1.1. So selling price over 1.1. And then I need to subtract the cost price. Subtract cost price. So I click on there. Enter. Okay, the markup is $49.09. Then if I move the cursor so that that white cross turns into a little black cross, click and drag down, it copies that formula all the way down, changing the formula so that it refers to the selling price and the cost price relevant for that particular answer. So you can see they're all making sense down there. So you can see, for example, here, a huge markup just there. To work out the percentage markup, you can see I've got that down here. Percentage markup equals the markup divided by the cost price times 100%. So if I click in this cell here and type equals markup divide cost price and then multiply and I use the asterisk for multiply by 100 and I get the percentage markup. And if I drag that down you can see it's calculated the percentage markup for all of these things. Now this one here is a negative so what could that possibly mean? It actually means that they're selling this at a loss. They're not making any money on it. They're actually discounting it and then adding GST to it, which is why the selling price is still higher than the cost price. But that whole difference there is made up by GST and it actually eats into the money that they um, it costs them to buy the piece of equipment. So there you have it. Excel makes this much, much quicker if you can manage to work out what formula you need to put in the cells.